Hello together. In this little video I will show you how to run a macro in Word which does the following stuff. Uh, this video, uh, this macro, it's a Word macro, I have here a Word document and the Word macro takes all those pictures from a folder and drops it into this uh, position and uh, and inserts all uh, those uh, images as small images uh, at this uh, below the position of uh, photos. So <clears throat> what does it do? I'm going to show it. Uh, let's, let's first run, run that stuff. I have here a, I have here a f um, an content control where I may set up the name of the folder and the, so the folder itself, the base folder is called uh, build archive in iDrive. You may uh, change this uh, at the code and then the, the system jumps to this position to the photos. This is a text uh, a bookmark and then it uh, adds all the stuff on there. So let's let's run the, the code first. Uh, we have here at developer tools macros and I will, I will upload the, the code onto my on my website or on YouTube or including in this document and then you may uh, use it. So, okay, we have here this uh, demo insert photo set position. That's the actual one. Okay, I run it. And now what it does, it takes the pictures and cuts the pictures always at this position. You see there's a, another stuff uh, below there. Oh, there's a line. The line is shrink shrinking. Uh, I have to add uh, a little bit on there. But normally the, the position is at the lowest point. So, but th that's not the most important stuff now. So what it did, it uh, implemented all those photos, uh, pictures from that folder. As you see here, it's on my, let's say, so, we have it here. Those, there are all photos and pictures and this, these are the original ones. Uh, each picture has, let's say here, one is uh, two megabytes uh, in the size, so normally you get a uh, a document by 30 megabytes but when I save it now and check that stuff then I should have something let's see some few megabytes uh, here's my demo insert photos uh, it's four megabytes so this were all those pictures in there and I uh, sized it and you will get the code on my uh, on my website, and as, as you saw, the, the code goes to the uh, to this position and uh, drops that stuff below there. Okay, I have to correct. Uh, there's a here and a final final stuff to make a, a little bit more space there. And now what we have to do? Where is it? Yeah, uh, we need. Uh, uh, for the coding, now when we go to the code, developer tools, what you have to do to get this running, you have to take those two lines from the uh, from that document at the uh, which are, are um, uh, which are at the at my blog. How is it called? The English word for it. Um, uh, let's see. Sorry, my English is not the best. Translate. I got, okay, let's say uh, Anhang Appendix. I, when I uh, where they are appended on the system mm -hmm. on my blog, and you may download this document, and then you take those two lines because and th those lines. This is a. Uh, as I said, this is um, content control. You see this as developer tools. There we have uh, content controls. This is a content control with a definite name. 
and I have here a bookmark. The bookmark is uh, one of those bookmarks, typical stuff on Microsoft <coughs> Word document. You take this one, drop it in your site on your on your uh, document, and then you take the code which is also written on the document or on my blog. You take everything what you have there. Ta -da, here's my blog. You take everything there. So, okay, take this, copy, and then you go to your macros. Either you uh, create a new one and then you drop it over there. Uh, just drop it on there and like this one, let's see. There's a... Uh, I, I made it in here. Uh, no, okay, make it new macro, what else? Okay, develop, uh, create it, and then you write it over there. That's it, and this will run. And all you have to do is my, this is my new macro, my new macro from Raymond. And then you may run it, just go there and say my new macro from Raymond, okay? And then when you run it, uh, all that stuff will happen. Uh, when we have a short look on the macro itself, here is the bookmark which is in the uh, in this line. You may change that if you want. And then here's the base path. Uh, here is the uh, called I Build Archive. That's the German one. And if you if you need another um, if you need another path, then you may change it in here. Then what does it uh, uh, the stuff do it? The code searches the bookmark, it goes to the bookmark, it checks if it's there, then it goes, uh, it checks for the in input field, and it reads the input fields, and then it uh, looks up the uh, folder and takes all pictures, all JPEGs from there, all JPEG pictures, and drops it in there, and it sizes the stuff down to, let's say, 10%. So, uh, I'm going to place the code on my website, as I said, it's uh, code 0.1. And if you like it, give me a uh, subscription or call me. Um, it's quite often that I can help on that stuff because I'm a professional programmer, software developer. For the recent years, uh, I wrote um, Visual Basic macros and because everybody asked me to do that, uh, but normally I'm a Microsoft uh, WPF programmer and uh, universal app programmer. Let's see. Okay, so if you like it, make a subscription, call me. Or make a donation. That's all cool. All, all the same stuff.